three Americans line up in the men's 800 metres final, looking to become their country's first ever world champion at this distance. Clayton Murphy was on the outside in lane number nine. Marco Arop, the Pan American champion, goes in lane eight for Canada. Ferguson Rotich, fourth in 2015 at the World Championships. The fastest on paper in this field, 142.54. Wesley Vasquez tore it out in the semi-final. Will he go for the same tactics this time? The Pan American silver medalist for Puerto Rico. The world bronze medalist from 2015, Amal Tuka of Bosnia-Herzegovina, goes in lane five. And in four, on paper, the favorite, Donovan Brazier, the US champion indoor and out, the Diamond League winner, 142.7 this year, third fastest in the world. Adrian Ben of Spain, the European junior bronze medalist, just 21 years of age, making a high quality world class final. And Bryce Hoppel on the inside, the US collegiate champion indoor and out, the US bronze medalist, the third of the three Americans in this final. Eight different men lining up here, then lined up in the London 2017 oh, final. Awesome. The event has evolved. Who will take the title? Two laps of the track. The men's 800 metres final here at the World Championships in Doha. Wesley Vasquez already in the white and red of Puerto Rico, who did go blazing out in that semi-final and just about managed to hold on. Inside him in the blue, Donovan Brazier shadowing him all the way. Won't want to let Vasquez get too far ahead in these early stages. Arab of Canada comes across into third, ahead of Clayton Murphy, then Tuka Rotich on the outside, the fastest on paper in the field, don't forget, ahead of Donovan Brazier. And Hoppel and Ben complete the lineup in these early stages, Jenny Meadows. These are the same tactics that we've seen in the heat and the semi from Vazchesk. He likes to take it out, doesn't he? And really closely followed behind by the American Donovan Brazier. So they hit the bell then. The time at the bell is 48.96 and it is quick. And it's the fastest split in World Championship history. Wack Vasquez from Brazier, then three or four metres to Tuca. Arup in fourth, Clayton Murphy five, Rotich six, and then Hoppel in seven. But Brazier now moving onto the shoulder and challenging Vasquez down the back, who doesn't seem to have any answers. Brazier striding out with 250 metres still to go. The gap's opening up now. This is searingly quick from Donovan Brazier. Vasquez and now Tuca will challenge for the second place, and the rest have got plenty to do. Rotich running on strongly from the back. But it's Donovan Brazier coming round into the home straight and beckoning history. Potentially the first US man ever to win a world 800 metres title. Brazier is moving away, Tuka in second, Rotich closing for third. But it's a moment in time for the United States. Donovan Brazier, 142.34. What a time! It's a new US record. He smashed Johnny Gray's record that stood for 34 years. What a performance from Donovan Brazier. Carry the weight of the US expectation. And he is their first world 800 meter gold medalist. Ahead of Tuka who took the silver and Rotic of Kenya got the bronze. Donovan Brazier, he's just produced something incredibly special there. A championship record. Athletes all over the world come to these world championships hoping to peak their performance in the 17 editions of those championships. That is the fastest we've ever, ever seen. Amazing scenes there. And Tuka ran well as well, didn't he? To take that silver medal and upgrade from his bronze four years ago in Beijing. But 142.34 for Donovan Brazier a US record, championship record, and his first global medal. Well, the official split at halfway was 48-9-9, which, as I mentioned, is the fastest split in World Championship history. It was 115-18 at 600 metres, and it is not only a championship record, it's a huge moment in US distance running history because everyone's been talking about Johnny Gray's record that stood since Koblenz in 1985. He shaved nearly three tenths of a second off that and it's put him equal ninth all time as well in history at this distance. 
it was a bold move down the back straight with 250 meters to go. Vazcek did so much of the work, but Brazier must have known what sort of shape he's in, and he didn't want to wait. He would have known that his compatriot Murphy would have been coming really strong behind him. He would have known Tuka's a danger. He followed the pace, he worked hard, and he was rewarded. Well, Hopper was finishing like a train as well to come through into fourth position. Vasquez, having done a lot of the hard work early on, unfortunately couldn't repeat the feat of the semi-final, but Donovan Brazier really was in a class of his own. The last US global men's goal at this distance dates back to Munich 1972. Dave Wattle, 47 years ago in the Olympics, took the gold medal over 800 metres for the US, but they'd never won a world title. There was talk of RJ Wilson last night becoming their first world 800 metre gold medalist, but it is Donovan Brazier who has the honour in that championship record. Tuka, a terrific run for the silver medal, upgrading the bronze he won in 2015, and Ferguson Chariot takes the bronze.